My name is Dr. Leslie Sultan, and I'm a practicing board-certified oral and maxillofacial surgeon in the Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. At the Sultan Center for Oral Facial Surgery, we evaluate and treat patients from all walks of life with a variety of disorders involving the face, mouth, and jaws. In this series of video interviews, our patients share with you, the audience, their experience in undergoing their specific procedure. I hope that this information is helpful for you and other potential patients. If you do have any further questions regarding this segment or any other information that you may require or comments or concerns, please contact our staff by phone, email, or fax. Thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to provide care to the South Florida area for the past 24 years. Hi, I'm Carly Ostman. Um, I had my wisdom teeth extracted on July 20th, 2012. I had a little bit of TMJ pain. I wasn't quite sure if it was from the wisdom teeth, but all four were impacted, so my oral surgeon and the orthodontist told me that I should have them taken out, and before I go to college, it was a good time to have them taken out this summer. I was really nervous because it's my first surgery, I've never had anesthesia, I've never had surgery, and a lot of people have told me like, oh, wisdom teeth extraction is hard from like people who have been older than me, and it was really easy. I didn't have pain, I took pain meds for a day, and then I was on Tylenol, I was numb for like a long time from the dental blocks, not from any unusual numbness, but it was super easy. Swelling is really minimal. I swelled really, really, really minimally. A little bit more on the right side than the left, but it's really easy. But it was awesome. I went in, they were all really friendly. Like I said, I've never had anesthesia before, so I was kind of nervous. They were all really sweet and they were caring and they kind of understood that we were nervous, so everything went fast, but like they were very professional about it. I came to the office because for the last four or five years I've been suffering from severe sleep apnea and I've traveled the country trying to cure it. I've seen numerous doctors and my friend Brian had the surgery about a year ago and is doing great and I said, well, you know, I think it's time for that and I'm real happy that I went forward with it. Well, my symptoms were just really tired during the day, um, morning and afternoon headaches. I would sleep for eight hours, but after that I'd wake up and I'd still be tired, and it was really slowing my, my life down. I did research on Dr. Sultan, and, uh, and they were all very positive. My friend Brian had it done here, and he has a very positive result, so I was slightly nervous, but mostly confident. The post-operative, um, you know, you're going to have two or three rough days after surgery, but you're going to continue to heal up every day. And I just took the, took, uh, took all the pain meds, which helped, and, uh, and and just followed the doctor's directions. And now, three weeks out, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm very happy I did it. I'm, I have energy during the day. I haven't had to take any pain meds for headaches, which I did had to take for two or three years, and it was just a, a positive experience, and um, I'm really happy I went forward with it. I would say come in and um, meet the Dr. Sultan and his staff. He'll break it down for you so you understand it. Uh, he'll show you um, the x-rays where you have blockage, and he'll customize your, your procedure to what you need. I had severe blockage, so I had to get, get treated in three or four different areas, but um, it's, it's, it's much more advanced. It's not like the old days when they would just do one procedure for everyone. This, now it's customized and uh, it's, it's worked out very well for me. I knew the dentures and I did not want dentures that were going to run around all over my mouth, so I decided to have the procedure and had permanent bottom dentures made. When I 
arrived at the office, the staff made me feel very, very comfortable, and that took away all my apprehension. Wonderful, not one bit of pain, a slight amount of swelling, and a little bit of bruising, but nothing to be concerned about. Uh, my life before was uh, very dull, and now I can show everybody my beautiful teeth. My name is Blake Suarez, and I had jaw reconstructive surgery to fix my overbite. I needed to get reconstructive surgery. I had had braces for several years, but I've never had any kind of facial surgery. Longer than six months. Not really. I knew everything was going to go swimmingly. I guess I was a little excited in the morning, but I was more curious as to how uh, it would change my lifestyle with this new bite and functionality. For the first couple of days while I was still in observation, there was a lot of uh, swelling and a lot of um, discharge of like blood and stuff, but other than that, not at all. Yeah. I gotta try to whistle, because I'm sure I wasn't able to do that before. I talked differently for the first six weeks, but I, I'm, I'm expecting later on from today I'll notice some changes. They're, they're a top grade staff. Oh, uh, eat, eat a lot before they uh, mess around in your mouth so that you can get used to the uh, liquids and uh, the liquid diet easier. You know, that was probably one of the hardest parts. <laughs> My name is Mary and I had a joint replacement. Uh, my jaw was starting to dislodge when I ate. It was a very friendly atmosphere. Um, doctor was nice, laid back. I wasn't able to eat uh, solid food. If I did, it, my jaw would come out of joint. Um, so I was basically on soft to liquid diet. No, because um, it had to be better than what I was going through <laughs> before. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Still on soft liquid diet, but um, you know, it's every day it's better. There's still a little bit of swelling. Um, the only pain that I have is the nerves trying to regenerate. Yawn. <laughs> I couldn't yawn because it would come out. Um, so I haven't really ate too much soft food yet because it's still a little sore. Solid food. Yep, can't wait. Um, do the therapy that they t the doctor tells you to do afterwards. Um, it's a long healing process, but it's definitely well worth it to be able to eat again.